An environmental mystery. Hundreds of turtle doves turned up dead in the parks and streets of a town in northern Italy today. And scientists don't know what killed them. Maybe not news that would normally cross the globe, except that this is at least the sixth bizarre incident of its kind in the first week of the new year. And that's not to mention all the dead crabs and fish. So what's going on? Nick Watt has our report. I wouldn't let them go outside right now, though. Heard thumping outside, just two or three. He said, heard what sounded like somebody knocking at the door. It, it, it was unreal. It, it was something I, 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 I didn't know what to think. What to think. What to think. There's something strange going on, and it's not that every man in town has a beard. I called the, the police department and told him I was like, uh, not drunk, uh, not on drugs. And uh, she immediately said, oh, you're calling about the birds. 3,000 red winged blackbirds dead on the ground. Some of them were a little panicked, uh, thinking it was the end of the world, uh, quoting 2012 prophecies and uh, things like that. Yes, ma'am. I was wondering why all the birds are just black guys. We are trying to find that out. Trying to find that out. A hundred miles down the road outside of Ozark, a hundred thousand dead drumfish washed up on a riverbank. A coincidence? And. Thousands more feathered dead in Texas, Kentucky, Louisiana. We have blackbirds, starlings, sparrows, um, several species of birds are affected. In the Chesapeake Bay, two million more dead fish. In Florida, a bunch more fish no longer flapping. Dead snappers in New Zealand, 50 jackdaws in Sweden, deceased 40,000 crabs, cold and lifeless on an English beach. What is cold to hit you? I don't know. In Brazil, 100 tons of fish belly up. And today, 8,000 departed doves in Italy, blue stains in their little mouths. Why, oh why? Q, internet frenzy, dead fish, a fast rising search term. Was John Wheeler murdered because he was about to reveal secret US military tests that had killed the birds? Were they killed by a bolt from the high-frequency active auroral research program in Alaska? These are not the views of ABC News or Nightline. Over-enthusiastic headline writers, a flocalypse now, nice, took a different tack, feeding what Hollywood has already told us. This is the core in which dead birds signal impending global doom. It's okay, some of these things happen all the time. <laughs> And this is flash forward. The birds were a portent of a two minute, 17 second blackout that was about to strike all humankind. Hang on, rewind to the BB police chief. Quoting 2012 prophecies and uh, things like that. What? Well, the ancient Mayan calendar runs out next year, leading some to believe that the world, therefore, will end too. Also, a Californian pastor says the world's going to end May 21st based on Bible readings. Is the great tribulation prophesied in the book of Revelation upon us? At that time, there will be great pain, suffering and death for those who have chosen not to follow God. No specific mention of dead crabs in England or blackbirds in Arkansas. But the date, the BB birds died at New Year's, sinister and significant? Or perhaps wherein lies a rational explanation. New Year's, fireworks, they got spooked. Most of these birds don't see any better at night than you or I do. Um, they aren't adapted to, to see at night like owls. So if they went off from their perches at night, they're, they're blind in the darkness, just like you would be. They could have flown into houses, power lines, each other. It's like running into somebody on your bicycle, the uh, fair amount of speed, no protection. And the fish in Arkansas? Probably disease. The Chesapeake fish and the English crabs? Cold weather, they say. Hypothermia. I like a good conspiracy theory as much as the next guy, but I, I don't see a connection between these many different cases. Uh, it's all bad luck. Bodies are now being examined. We'll be looking for evidence of trauma, uh, internal bleeding. 
and hopefully finding some rational answers. Mass wildlife die-offs, as they're called, do happen. On average, 163 of them are reported in the U.S. every year. They do happen, and they happen every year, and I think a lot of the frenzy that we're getting around the world is because the uh, media and the internet have allowed uh, more of these stories to be exposed and connected than normally happens. So, perhaps no portent, no omen, no sign, no apocalypse, just a bunch of dead things. I'm not going to get all philosophical and stuff. Stuff just happens in nature and we read dumb stuff into it. I'm Nick Watt for Nightline in London.